This video is about plagiarism and consequences. After completing this lesson, you will be able to define plagiarism and discuss some of the consequences of plagiarizing. What is plagiarism? Plagiarism is the presentation of another's writing or ideas as one's own and can take a number of forms, including failing to cite sources, copying source text or online sources without quotation, or inadequately paraphrasing or synthesizing source material. Plagiarism can be intentional or accidental. Either way, it is a violation of the student code of conduct and outside of college can incur legal sanctions when it is considered copyright infringement. Consequences while in school. Plagiarism is considered prohibited student conduct. It is also academic misconduct and academic dishonesty. As a college student, you agree to abide by student conduct policies. If you violate these policies, your instructor or the college can apply sanctions against you, like a failing grade or being expelled from the college. This is covered by the Washington Administrative Code 132I-125-100. The college may impose sanctions against a student who commits, attempts to commit, aids, abets, incites, encourages, or assists another person to commit any act or acts of misconduct, which include but are not limited to the following. Academic dishonesty which is any act of academic dishonesty, including but not limited to plagiarism. Plagiarism includes taking and using as one's own without proper attribution the ideas, writings, or work of another person in completing an academic assignment. Prohibited conduct may also include the unauthorized submission for credit of academic work that has been submitted for credit in another course. Fabrication includes falsifying data, information, or citations in completing an academic assignment and also includes providing false or deceptive information to an instructor concerning the completion of an assignment. Consequences outside of school. Outside of college, you could incur legal penalties like monetary fines or jail time if your plagiarism is determined to be a copyright infringement. So how do you avoid plagiarism and copyright infringement? Cite your sources. Don't use content outside of fair use. Get permission to use content from the copyright holder. That final option is something that you need to do once you're outside of college. In general, you are covered under fair use as a student creating projects for academic use. Thank you for watching this video.